hi everyone welcome back to the channel for another video so you have done all your streaming setups and finally going live but your video quality isn't performing on what you had expected so do not worry we got you covered for today's video topic we are going to show you few simple ways on how you can improve your video quality using these filters in streamlab obs in order to allow your stream to make it to the next level so stay with me you won't want to miss this with these filters, it does not only improve your image quality during your streams and also provides a big help when it comes to gameplay recording. So by the end of this video, I hope that it could help to improve your video quality to make it look more clean and more vibrant during your streams and recordings. Better video quality comes with better viewer experience. Before adding the filters, make sure that your stream labs is open and your game capture source is added. If you haven't done this yet, it is super simple. Just click on the source plus sign below to add your game capture in case that your game capture isn't working there is another option that you can use which is window capture i'll put a link in the description below on how to set up a window capture for your gameplay recordings so there are two filters we actually have to focus which is color correction and sharpen so how do you add the filters into your game capture or window capture it is very simple i'm gonna show you right now so first thing first you have to just go to your window capture oh by the way my game capture isn't recording the game so i use window capture instead so just right click on the window capture but it actually works the same for game capture also so do not worry about that so just right click on the window capture and just look for the filters and just click edit filters so at this filters part just go filter just add it and you'll see filter type and filter name just go to the filter type and you look for color correction which is this one this color correction right here i've already have my edits so one once you have add the color correction filters and you'll see gamma contrast brightness saturation hue shift and opacity we just gonna focus on the top four which is gamma contrast brightness and saturation so the gamma is basically make it a little bit darker to the left when going to the right it's make it a little bit brighter and for the contrast when you push it to the right i'm gonna make the gameplay on the surround make a little bit darker but do not worry so when you adjust your saturation let's see if you adjust to the left the color gonna be off point so when you're gonna adjust to the right your color gonna makes even more better which is your like the trees green trees gonna make even better even green when i hide the filters your original gameplay will be like this and when you use the filters voila the magic happens it makes your gameplay look so much better with just a simple settings if you are still here with me don't wait give this video a big thumbs up it helps the channel out to grow and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. And the next filters we're gonna add, which is sharpen. So just go to the add filters and look for sharpen filters on the below. So once you add it, just go to the sharpen and adjust just a little bit. Remember, not too much. Yes, you can see that I'm also using the 0.09. So without the sharpen filters, it's gonna look like this. You can see all the overall image quality is a little bit not too sharp a little bit blurry but when you use sharpen filters the overall gameplay overall video quality looks so much better with just a little bit adjustments so a gameplay with these filters makes a big difference when it comes to streamings and gameplay recordings but do remember the filters that you adjust is only that your viewers able to see but not yourself all right small tips coming up which is we are going to show you how you can adjust your game filters even you yourself able to enjoy while you're streaming but this is only for nvidia gpu user which is nvidia in-game overlay so just install geforce experience and make sure that your nvidia in-game overlay is turned on so how do you turn on your in-game overlay just open up the geforce experience apps and go to the settings and you'll see general and just go down to this in-game overlay and turn it on and there you go so now that you are able to use nvidia in-game overlay while you're gaming in order to bring up in-game overlay while you're gaming just press alternate z on your keyboard and or either alternate plus f3 look for the game filter just go to the filters and f filters look for color and go to the color thin color all the way to the zero percent to the left and the main thing we're gonna focus which is vibrance so vibrance i'm gonna put it all the way to the right which is about 50 it gonna makes my gameplay coloring even better and makes the tree even greener the grass even greener so that you yourself able to enjoy this amazing color while you are gaming so that is how you adjust the game filter using streamlab obs and nvidia in-game overlay so that you and 
your viewers able to enjoy this amazing video quality while you're streaming or even you're recording your gameplay do let me know in the comment below that what are your preferred filters adjustment settings if you are looking on how to improve your streaming setup we got a playlist about streaming setup tutorial that might able to help you on how to improve your streaming's career be patient be confident never give up i'll see you all in the next video happy streaming and thanks for watching peace